A Toronto lawyer wants Canadian border policy to change and is considering legal action against the federal government. This lawyer refusing to give border guards access to his phone and laptops, and so they seized his devices. Let's bring in Arthi Pohl right now, who has more on this case. So tell us what happened with this lawyer, Arthi. So this lawyer, Nick Wright, he said that he had been working abroad, essentially, in Colombia and Guatemala for four months, and then he was returning in early April. And when he arrived in Canada, he says that he was flagged for additional screening. And so Canada Border Service agents went through his luggage, which he says he took no issue with. But then they also started to ask for his electronic devices, his laptop, his cell phone, and ask for the passwords. And he said that he had confidential information on those devices that were protected by solicitor client privilege and that he would not give his password to the border guards because he said that was sensitive information that he wouldn't be able to share with them. He says in response, they essentially said that they would then seize his devices and send it to a government lab where they would crack the passwords and have a look inside anyways because they say he was flagged to get this additional screening. Here's what Nick Wright had to say. No reasons were provided. Uh, since the incident, uh, media representatives with Canadian Border Services Agency have said that there have to be a number of reasons in order to carry out such a search. Uh, in my view, there were no such reasons, and certainly no such reasons were provided at the time. Canadians should be concerned because, as citizens of Canada, we have a charter uh, right to be free from unreasonable government search and seizure. And that is why he took issue with it, saying that he refused to provide, again, his passwords for these devices. And uh, he's urging uh, Canadians, again, to file complaints. He says he has submitted a complaint about this incident and is looking to, again, as we mentioned there, take some legal action to change the laws surrounding this because he believes that border agents in this respect simply have too much power when it comes to searching digital devices that may have very sensitive information on it. Michael. Well, interestingly, his story is on our website and it is the most read story today which which seems to imply that Canadians are very much interested in what happened to him and where this goes forward so what is the CBSA the Canadian Border Service Agency what are they saying uh, about this whole incident well essentially they say that according to the CBSA they do have the right they say to search electronic devices at the border for evidence of customs related offenses and that would be without a warrant we also reached out here as part of a statement from the public safety ministers office and uh, this is what they had to say that officers may only conduct a search if there are multiple indicators that evidence of contraventions may be found on a device and so you heard though from Nick Wright that he essentially feels that there was no reason for his devices to be searched in this particular case also in our conversations or in our correspondence rather with the public safety minister's office they said that the CBSA officers are essentially trained to conduct the border examinations with respect for privacy and that they are aware of solicitor client privilege and are told to respect that as well so again, this is uh, some interesting information for so many of our readers and viewers who really may not have uh, the scope of information or awareness about how much power really the CBSA has. So we also got a chance to speak with the Civil Liberties Association and here's what they had to say. They either comply uh, or they run the risk of having their devices seized um, and there could be charges laid against them for obstructing a reasonable request from a, from a border agent as well. So it's a, a risky and dangerous thing to stand up and, and refuse those passwords. We do recommend that people take a look at what's on their devices before they cross the border. And if they have information on there that they would be uncomfortable with an agent being able to go through, um, it should come off those devices before they travel. So I guess part of the important advice coming out of this story is make sure you know that uh, complying with those border agents will essentially uh, put you out of the risk in terms of potentially having your devices seized or even being held as well. But they just say that you should be aware they can do that right now. Michael. Arthi, thank you for that. You're welcome.